I'm a week late, but in typical fashion of being late, or like the stereotypes like to say, I'm on black people's time. But enough about me, today we're going to dissect the former infamous, disgraced, anti-villain, angel to some, demon to others, the best and the worst president in history, Donald J. Motherfucking Trump. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, that was the black in me because according to the trends i'm seeing right now online all of a sudden all black people love donald trump again so to be clear this literally could just be people actually celebrating that he's going to jail right as black people you know we f with trump yeah i f with trump i don't know what everybody got against him yo he was making f the breadwinners you heard i'm a democrat too but f it we trump we trump back in office right now all right, this isn't working out the way I want it here. There's definitely people that are happy that Trump is going to jail. I promise you. Ain't no party like an indictment party because an indictment party don't stop. Ah. <laughs> you see the, the make America great again. My comment is, do you, do, you, do you accept that that could possibly be construed as a racist remark? All right, so so only white people apparently are happy that Trump is going to jail. Is is that is that why I'm so confused? Because I'm half black, I'm half white. I just I just don't know what to think. This is this is a hard subject. Antoine Smalls has transracial identity. So that's right. Trump is once again facing another allegation, but this one is a RICO case that may actually stick because it's a fucking RICO case. Okay, if you're not familiar with what a RICO case is, let me break it down for you. The Racketeer Influence and Corruption Organization Act, aka the RICO, was created as a powerful tool for prosecuting organized crime, white collar crime, and fraud, aka basically it was created to arrest mobsters and gangsters. RICO cases can be easier to convict because defendants are usually loosely associated with the criminal, making it easier for the prosecutors to get them to turn on each other. Uh, the complexity of the RICO cases makes it difficult for lawyers to implement a coherent trial strategy. The stiff penalties associated with the RICO charges are a major incentive for co-defendants to seek deals in return for new evidence. And if that's not enough, let's throw in the icing on the cake. RICO cases can tie together seemingly unrelated crimes with a common objective into a prosecutable pattern of racketeering. So yeah, he, he may actually go down for whatever the unbiased jury determines to be true or not. And it's going to be quite hard to find an unbiased jury. You have to find someone on a desolate island who has no television, cable, or anything. John learned about the nearby North Sentinel Island, where an indigenous tribe known as the Sentinelese lived. One hour later. Well, disturbing news from uh, an uninhabited, uh, an out-of-bounds island, I beg your pardon, in the uh, Andaman and Nicobar chain. An American tourist identified as John Allen Chow, 27 years old, has reportedly been killed by the Sentinelese tribes. We shall see, but this one is a case I would really be worried about for all the Trump lovers out there. So I'm not sure if it's the fact that Trump is getting hit with RICO charges or if it's just the fact that the DT might actually get locked up that all of a sudden turned him from a racist to my my favorite president the homie Donald Trump such a drastic change because I remember when black people supported Donald Trump during his initial run to be president and they were called Uncle Tom's and Coons with a narrative of a token black person that is doing the masters dirty work wake up call no it is an incident where a person of color forgets that they are of color and are reminded rather brutally by an unexpected act of racism oh, have you brother. ever had any of oh, those brother I'm just asking. I'm just asking. And all of a sudden, the narrative, while simultaneously forgetting that before the presidency, Trump was loved by many people. And yes, when I say many people, it includes black people, but that was conveniently lost in translation. But the Dems thought that making Donald Trump a disgrace to the country, that he would lose some additional support. But that backfired. Because all of a sudden, we are seeing a lot of the so-called street people jumping in support of MAGA 2024. While Candace Owens is celebrating this moment, I, on the other hand, am disgusted with this moment. And I'll tell you why. Uh, what the f 
fuck you talking about? Allow me to expound upon the observed socio-political dynamics you have elucidated. The phenomenon you delineate involves a discernible shift in the public sentiment and the perception, particularly with regard to the support for Donald Trump. And it underscores the multifaceted nature of the contemporary societal structures. In the past, individuals often referred to as Uncle Toms exhibited support for President Trump through engaging in what is known as reading his policies and agendas. Paradoxically, their well-informed participation was met with hate in the digital realm. They faced consequences within the framework of our social class hierarchy encapsulated by the social media platforms. But there is a notable phenomenon wherein certain individuals referred to as the streets are showing support to Donald Trump. This support appears to stem from the perceived association with the negative portrayal as a criminal, which seems to have gained a degree of social acceptance in today's society. This raises the question about the prioritization of values within our society, or if you want to be a separatist within our culture. I'm not trying to have a Bill Cosby moment here, and I'm not talking about the Bill Cosby moment where he puts you to sleep. I'm talking about the one where he's calling out bad behavior. And I know what some people will say, that the support stems from the perceived connection of setting up a brother mentality, which the DOJ has done in the past. But this shouldn't excuse the lack of knowledge and voting based on feeling. I, for example, have a soft spot for old people, but that does not mean I want someone in power that shits himself on stage. And a string of uh... Alright, listen, I, I don't want anyone saying he's actually shitting on his stage. We really don't know what's going on with him. But point being is that I have a soft spot for old people and we have two old people right now, technically three old people that should not be in power running this country because I think with my brain, not my feelings. Ah! That's all you have to do. Let me put on my tinfoil hat. What if black people always supported Donald Trump? But the media refused to push that narrative and suppressed any possible viral moment of a black person supporting Trump. They contacted Mr. Trump over the phone. And he came down here. Instead of him evicting me off the property, he said that I can stay. And it's been eight years. And instead, they chose to begin pushing a narrative, but only within the stereotypical hood people further feeding the depiction of black people as ignorant and uneducated. Or, 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 I'm just thinking way too much into this. Why are you the way that you are? I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. But what do you think? What do I know? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this whole situation. But what I do know is that all of a sudden Donald Trump is being praised within the culture. And if you enjoy this type of satirical, political, and pop culture humor, by all means, smash that subscribe button. Because according to the analytics, 92% of you are watching my videos, but you haven't subscribed. And you definitely haven't given me a thumbs up. And yo, 100% haven't clicked that bell button to get notified every single time I drop a video. So help a brother out. Yeah. Yep, that's what HBO stands for, Help a Brother Out and Half-Breed Observer. To please subscribe, it would really help out my channel. Until next time, fuck off.